In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the door style and navigate the door library. I've created a couple of rooms with organizers that have some doors. And when you add a unit to the work area, the default door style is a European door with a 2mm edge tape. This is set as a default because it is the most common door. Now let's say I want to change all the door styles and drawer front styles on the complete job. This is really easy. Just bring up this door library. And currently, all of these doors are a European 2mm door. And I want to change it to a shaker, let's say. So I'm going to go to this fifth tab, click on shaker, and then under shaker series, I'm going to click and hold and drag that door to the top door area, to the drawer front, and to the base door area. Now once all those are changed, you can then click on OK. Now this will change all the doors throughout the complete job. Now let's say that uh, I wanted my drawer face to be different, so I'm going to undo this and I'm going to bring up this door library again. So let's say that um, I want it to have a raised round corner and I want that on the top door and I want it on bottom doors but all my drawer faces I want a slab series so let's say I pull a, a slab series in there and then when I click OK all the top and bottom doors will become raised panel but the drawer faces will be a slab series and so that will be the same throughout all the job so it's very simple very quick to make door changes on a complete job. When you're changing a single door and using the control click method, it will cycle through various styles of doors. Let me show you how that's done. Usually the first time you pr press control and click, the door will disappear. The second time, you'll get a Sorrento glass door, then a Sorrento shaker, then you'll get a shaker series, and you have to look close. If I back up, you'll notice that the Sorrento has a mitered corner and this is a five piece door and that's why it has a miter as compared to the Shaker series which is square. And you can cycle through this, you get a raised panel, you get the uh, European flat tape door and then the European two mil door. Now how does this cycle? Let's go under door and under change all doors if you look down at the bottom here, it says extra doors. It's actually cycling through this list of doors, starting at the glass door and working its way back towards the flat um, two millimeter door. Now you'll also notice underneath are door codes and you should refer to the door code on the website because each of these codes refers to a, a style of door. For instance, the SGP refers to the Sorrento glass door, whereas the MSFP refers to the Sorrento shaker. And so that's a quick way of knowing what door that is referring to and checking to make sure you've got the right door. Now let's say I wanted to delete a drawer or a door. You can do this very easily. Let's say on this tower unit here, I want to delete the top door. Just press control. Your cursor will change with a door attached to it and click on that and now the door is gone. I can also do this to any drawer. Let's say this second drawer from the bottom I want to get rid of. Click on that and it's gone. Now that not only deletes the face, the drawer face, but it also deletes the whole drawer so it wouldn't appear on the cut list. And so it's as easy as that to modify and change the units.